Hello everybody, welcome back. My name's Clay. I am the Georgia bottle picker on eBay. And man, I have been some kind of busy lately. This past week I couldn't put out a video. I just, I bought a massive collection of bottles and jars and antiques, signs, and just a massive, massive collection. Some uh, drink machines. Uh, I've been busy, busy, busy moving this stuff. I'm going to show a little clip of uh, a trailer load that I bought, I mean, that I brought home. Uh, I have brought uh, five or, I think there's five or six trucking trailer loads and two just truck loads. And I got about four or five more trucking trailer loads to get. It's massive. This is a massive. I should have videoed every load, but I didn't. It's just, I've been so hot and tired trying to move this stuff. But I'm going to just put out a video today of just what sold last week. Some of the better items that sold, I had some really good bottles to sell and a few other items, some signs. But uh, let's go take a look and see what sold. Well, I did it again. I bought another bottle collection. I've already started unloading some. And I figured I'd just video a little bit of it here. <clears throat> Back of the truck was slapped full. I've unloaded some of that. I think I got today about 2,000 bottles is in this collection, around 2,000 bottles in this load. Back seats full, full of bottles. Got that little thing there. And a few jars. That's a nice oval peanut butter. Pretty good stuff. I gotta get to work, get all that unloaded. This here is a rare bottle of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Three copper, three copper cola. That means three cents. Three copper cola. Pretty cool. Pretty cool bottle. Never had it before. It sold for $95 plus shipping. This is another rare bottle. This is a Pepsi double drum bottle. It's Got some damage on it, it would have brought more money. It's a pretty ugly bottle, but it's rare. Uh, it brought $160 plus shipping. And then the same guy bought this as another double drum. This another rare bottle from West Virginia. This bottle brought $363 plus shipping. This is another pretty scarce bottle, Amber Pepsi Straight Side from New Baron. Yeah, it's got a little wear to it. It brought $150. And this bottle right here is probably the rarest bottle that I've sold over the weekend. It's uh, the oval slug plate here is what, this variation is what makes this rare. I've sold this town before. This is a straight side Pepsi, but this variation of that oval slug plate is what made it so valuable. This bottle brought $705 plus shipping. It's worth a little more than that, but it's got a chip down here and a little crack. And it's got a lip chip. That's a rare bottle. It's a very good bottle. Same person bought all four of those bottles. And this is two more very rare bottles. Both of these bottles are rare. They're both John Ryan's ginger ale from Savannah, Georgia. If they weren't damaged, they would have brought a lot more money, but both of them have damage. That's got a big old crack and a chip on the neck. It makes it uh, hurt the value of them. The colors are what makes these so rare. These are scarce colors, hard color to find. That had a big old chip that looks to me like it's been glued back in. 
But even in this condition, these brought $427 each. That's uh, $850, a little $850 plus shipping on these two bottles. Very good sale. This is another very hard bottle to find. I've had these bottles before. I've sold a few of them in the past. This is by Neha. It's from Columbus, Georgia. They call it the top of the world because it's the bottom of this is shaped like the world and it's got a map on it. Top of the world, knee high. Pretty cool bottle, it's a small bottle. But this bottle brought $145 plus shipping. This pottery jug right here sold for $65. I used to sell a lot of pottery. I don't have a whole lot of pottery anymore. This is a pretty jug. I'm not sure where it's from, but it's about a gallon or a gallon and a half size jug. Pretty good sale. Southern pottery. This is a Mount Airy. North Carolina drum Pepsi Cola. This bottle sold for $80 plus shipping. And this is another Cobalt Blue John Ryan from Savannah, Georgia. I've sold three or four of these lately and I got two or three more left. But they always sell good and they're a pretty bottle. This bottle brought $150 plus shipping. And this here's a pretty neat little medicine bottle. Magic Healing Remedy, Magic Food Company, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Amber Medicine Bottle. That's a pretty cool name they had on that. This bottle sold for $45 plus shipping. And this is another rare bottle. I've never had this bottle before. It's uh, Tulip Beverages from Clarksville, West Virginia, and it's by Pepsi Cola Bottling Company. But that's a pretty cool bottle. It, it's a rare bottle. It brought $200 plus shipping. Good sale right there. This here's a, another pretty good bottle. It's a uh, baseball quality beverage. It's got a baseball player on it, holding a bat, and like he's ready to hit. Hit the ball. It's from Charleston, South Carolina, and it sold for $60 plus shipping. This is just a piece of an ammo box. This is the third one I've sold lately. They all brought $20 a piece. Uh, and this was a, somebody had built a drawer out of these, and this was three of the sides, these, these pieces of this ammo box. But $20, I don't have anything tied up in it, but that's pretty cool. And these don't bring a lot of money, but I went to a yard sale one time and a man had like 25 or 30 of these. And he wanted 50 cents a piece or 25 cents a piece. I don't remember, might've been four or $4. And I just picked out the ones that had Fenton on them. And they have all sold, this was the last one. This one sold for $15 plus shipping. I think I got about 10 of them. Yeah, didn't hardly have anything in them. So that's a pretty good flip. You can look out for these, uh, these shoes, these little glass, or I'm not sure what they're made out of, some type of glass. But if they have Fenton on them, they do sell. I picked this candle holder up at a yard sale here a while back for uh, five or ten dollars. I don't remember now, but it's an odd looking one. It looks like an owl on that side. I guess it's an owl. I weren't sure what it was. But, you, but it's brass. It's old. It's probably worth more than what I sold it for, but you can tell it's old. It's got that square nut on the bottom. You see stuff put together with square nuts. It's old, but it's in good condition. And it sold for $45 plus shipping. I took a best offer on it. 
This is a pretty bottle right here. It's a colored soda bottle is what they call them, blob top. It's got a lip chip or it would have brought a little more money. It just says mineral water on it, mineral waters on it. It is a pretty bottle. It brought $51 plus shipping. Here was a good soda bottle, Bottling Works from uh, Virginia, Hamel Bottling Works. It brought $65 plus shipping. I love the color of these bottles here. This is another colored soda bottle from Savannah, Georgia. These are pretty, pretty colored bottles. It's cold, deep cobalt blue. This bottle brought $153 plus shipping. This is a scarce Coca-Cola straight side from Key West, Florida. Key West, Florida, Coca-Cola straight side. I took a best offer of $110 on it. It's worth a little more than that, but I took the best offer. This here's another rare bottle. I've never had this bottle before, never sold this bottle. It's a Great Dew, Great Dew soda bottle from Atlanta, Georgia. Let's see if we can read it there. Great Do Company, Atlanta, Georgia. That's an odd looking Art Deco bottle. I couldn't find one that had sold recently. So I auctioned it and it brought $274.99 plus shipping. That's a very, very good sale. And I think I got another one of these uh, somewhere in this last big collection that I just purchased. And this is a rare, rare Pepsi Cola straight side from uh, Pennsylvania. Win Burber, Win Burr. Anyhow, it's, I think I, uh, somehow or another, I priced it too cheap after it sold. I went back and looked and somehow I had priced it too cheap and it sold, so I'm letting them ride. I sold, after I went sold it, I went and looked and one had sold for $600, I think, on Worth Point uh, in 2021. And then, but in 2020, two other ones had sold for like $200 a piece. But I saw, I priced this one at two fifty, dollars and it sold within a couple of hours after I listed it. That's why I went back and done research again. I don't know how I missed it, but oh well, things happen. $250, it's going. I sold this Gator beverage for $127. I packed it up before I realized I didn't video it. I sold two more lots of these 10 tobacco tags. I think there's a lot of 15 and a lot of 16. And they brought $36, I think, together. That's pretty good because I don't have anything in them. This right here is one of the rarest bottles I've ever sold on eBay. This is a Birmingham, Alabama Coca-Cola Hutchison bottle or Coca-Cola Hutch. It's got a little damage, got that chip right there and it looks kind of beat up, but it's still a rare, rare, rare bottle. And this, I sold, I took a best offer on it and I took an offer for $2,500 plus shipping. That's a very, very good sale. I sold another one of these Coca-Cola Hutches several years ago, but it was from Brunswick, Georgia. And I got about the same price for it also. These are good, good bottles. I got two more of these bottles from different towns. They're not in as good as condition as this one, but that's a good, good sale. This old oil can here, uh, I've had it for quite a while in my store. It finally sold for $42.49. It's a Seaboard Coastline Railroad oil can. It's pretty neat, it's pretty cool. There's the SCLRR on it. Nice old piece, plus shipping. 
This here is a pretty scarce bottle. It's a Tampa, Florida, Pepsi, straight side, slug plate. It's got a little damage. It's got that little chip there on the side. It brought $120 plus shipping. This here was a rare bottle, or it was a rare bottle. It brought $300 plus shipping. I auctioned it at $299.99. And it, one person bid on it. It's a rare, rare bottle. Art Deco from Dunn, North Carolina. Pretty cool bottle. This is another rare Pepsi straight side from Virginia. This bottle brought $300 plus shipping. Got that bruise on the side. And it's got a little crack, I think, somewhere. Maybe just that bruise was all. Rare bottle. Sold good. It sold the same day. All these bottles, these last three bottles I'm showing, sold the same day I listed them. And this is another rare Pepsi straight side. Burlington, North Carolina. This bottle brought $230 plus shipping. It sold the same day I listed it. Pretty good sales. This is a pretty rare drum Pepsi Cola bottle from North Carolina. It's got some damage, a few couple of chips, but it sold for $230 plus shipping. This is this here's another rare variation of a Raleigh, North Carolina Pepsi Cola bottle. It's got a little damage, some bruises, but it sold for $141 plus shipping. Nice sale. This is a Elizabeth City, North Carolina Pepsi straight side. And this bottle sold for $150 plus shipping. Another nice sale. This is a nice rare whiskey bottle from Mobile, Alabama. Uh, this is a nice bottle. It don't have any damage, no chips, cracks, or staining. Looks like it barely got used. Uh, that's a nice bottle and it's rare. It brought $350 plus shipping. Nice sale. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I got a lot of stuff I'm going to be showing in this big collection that I've bought. Uh, bottles and jars and signs and antiques. I'm going to put them in groups and just show you uh, some of the stuff that I've purchased. And until next time, I do appreciate you.